that's what I would do. Four lights across here, two higher ones here. I would try and get two in between the windows here. Uh, like you said, um, the garage might be a little tricky because you have the, the stone here. Um, I'm just going to see if I got a better picture. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't worry too much about this area. I think it's just, it's going to be very tough to do. You could definitely try and, you know, mount some lights up here. Again, um, just keeping in mind that all the lights have a half inch, um, they have a half inch thread on them. So you could always get like some of those white flanges, run the wire up in the gutter, uh, wherever you need to. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this video with some more great landscape lighting tips. To learn more about landscape lighting, go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or if you want to see what a real quality landscape light should look like, go and check out our Try It Before You Buy It offer where you can get a premium quality fixture at a discounted rate with your very own battery pack so you can go and test out how that light's going to look and feel what a real premium quality light should look like. So go and check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or go watch more videos on YouTube just by searching for The Lighting Doctor. Hey Brad, uh, thanks for your email and your pictures here. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll mention a couple things. I mean, you got a beautiful house for uh, landscape lighting. I love the nice white trim on everything. Um, the stonework uh, and all that is um, is really, really nice. And I think you can do a really good job of highlighting it. Um, and I'll give you some options for up top. It's really uh, whether or not you want to. I mean, here's here's kind of a picture of you can see more or less what I'd be looking for. The nice thing is, I mean, you can still mount even um, all the all the up lights that we use to do that basically at the base of them has a half inch male thread. And if you go to um, any, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever and go to the electrical se section, um, you'll find all kinds of different um, junction boxes and different things like that. Some are black, some are just like uh, round flanges. Um, there's all kinds of mounting things. So really, it's just a matter of finding something you're comfortable with. Uh, that you can mount to your roof. Um, a lot of times we'll just use like, they have some nice round uh, flanges with a half inch hole in them to screw the light into that you don't need, you know, big super screws to screw them into your uh, roof or just into the shingles. You can silicone around it so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, about water or anything like that. So there's lots of options and lots of things you can do. It's really just finding something that you're comfortable with. I don't want to tell you uh, one over the other for sure because it's something you got to be comfortable with but it is uh, fairly easy to do and you can just kind of mount them like that and I I think it really would be worth it um, to just try and run some wire you know up behind and then along the roof line same thing in in any areas where you can kind of tuck it if you ran it a, a, up that gutter and across um, you could definitely use the gutter mounts on this section here. Uh, the only thing is that because there's so much roof line here, you probably want to get it a little bit closer to these areas. So um, just something to keep in mind. But I mean, the way I would light this is pretty simply, I would try and get like two up lights kind of at the base here. If these are right against the house, even if you have them behind these shrubs, uh, the biggest mistake most people make is that they, um, they point the lights at the house instead of up and it might be something you might even want to try because you might be able to get away with it a little bit even if you bring them uh i'm just trying to go through some of the other pictures or was that kind of yeah oh oh <laughs> sorry kind of a little too quick um but even if you kind of got them here and had them shining up i mean you're going to catch some of the shrubs you're going to catch and i think you'll still catch enough of this window and you might even be able to get some light to that second story peak where you don't have to mount anything um on the roof line especially in on these two areas i mean i think it would really make it stand out if you could uh, but you might be able to get those lights a little bit further back and try and catch a little bit of everything. And I mean, a really good way to test that is, I don't know how much time you spent on our website, but I would go and I would get one of these. Um, basically this try it before you buy it light, where basically you get one of those lights that I'm talking about that I would use. Plus it comes with this battery pack that now you can just go plug this light into and you can actually go and place it in those areas and see where it looks best. And if you just can't get the light up there and get that look that you want, well, then you may have to go and, and mount them. But if you don't have to, then I mean, all the better. And I think, um, I think definitely in these areas, you might be able to, because you have the kind of the bushes right against the house anyway, you might be able to bring that back a little bit. Um, it's going to obviously take away a little bit of light from the house. But what you could do then too, is if you had to 
bring those out a little bit further back. Um, again, have them shining more upright than you think, but then maybe just to help get a little bit of light on here, because if you do that, these bushes might steal a little bit of light from here. You could always throw one in the middle that just kind of lights this bottom section. So that's what I would do. Honestly, I would start with that um, try it before you buy light. And even if this was a project that we were doing, that's something I would do is I would come back at night with my tribe before you buy a light and I would actually go and place it in those areas and find out where it's going to look best. And then I would come up with a plan. So um, whether you're whether you're a newbie or you've been doing it a long time, uh, I'm still a big fan of using that. So that's what I would do to really test that. And if you can, then that would be great because then you can just kind of have it. Um, I'm just trying to get a front picture. Yeah, then you can just kind of have the lights, you know, here and here and it gets all this section with just those four lights the only other thing you may want to consider is that um, with the up lights you might want to use something a little bit brighter uh, than the standard 4 watt LED that comes in there um, and use a 35 watt uh, equivalent and the nice thing is actually I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly with the tribe before you buy it light you can actually test out both options because you can get the light and then you can also add one of the 35 watt equivalent lamps and you get both and now you can plug them in and you can go test it out and see uh, what you like best but that's what I would do uh, I know that's a little long-winded but I would have my two lights here and I would have my two lights here for sure um, that highlight that front section uh, and then across the other side of the house over here uh, there we go uh, so over here I would think I would really take advantage of trying to have like four of the accent lights across um, the front of the house here in, on the stonework in between the windows and then over on this section I mean you could use the gutter mount but I think like I was saying if you mount it here what you're gonna find is that uh, it's gonna light a lot of the roof line and that's not really all that desirable so it would look a lot better if you could mount those ones um, over here kind of in between the windows um, and that's what I would try and do again with uh, whatever those different flanges are the other option that you can do if you want to use the gutter mount is sometimes if you put the light on a bit of a riser so it's a little bit higher up than the roof line you won't get as much there um, also something else you do and, and guys get mad at me all the time for suggesting this but um, this kind of has like this little cowl sometimes I just flip that upside down these are really waterproof lights so even if you flip that upside down um, sometimes it helps block a little bit of that light uh, down below. So that's what I would do. Four lights across here, two higher ones here. I would try and get two in between the windows here. Uh, like you said, um, the garage might be a little tricky because you have the, the stone here. Um, I'm just going to see if I got a better picture. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't worry too much about this area. I think it's just it's going to be very tough to do. You could definitely try and you know, mount some lights up here. Again, um, just keep it in mind that all the lights have a half inch, um, they have a half inch thread on them. So you could always get like some of those white flanges, run the wire up in the gutter, uh, wherever you need to. But in all honesty, I think I would probably just leave this area out. Um, it's going to make your life a lot easier. But if you really want it, there are some um, there are some things you could do, but I think if you just focus on the front of the house, it's going to look really good. And then the only other thing is you might want to consider adding a few path and garden lights in between where you have those accent lights. So if you have an up light here and an up light here, I would probably try and throw like a path and garden light over here, kind of one in the middle, kind of one over here, and then kind of in between the three windows and just have that nice consistent up lighting uh, along with some down lighting across the pathway. And I think those were kind of the main questions you have, but I think if that's all you did, you might want to throw another up light on this tree here, um, maybe a little bit more from the side angle. Uh, so it just kind of rounds out that viewing angle. But I think if you did all that stuff, um, that would be a really, really good start. Um, and uh, yeah, and I would just, I, I would kind of leave it at that. I mean, if anything, you could possibly throw some down lights here, but I think because you have these and you've done a good job on the front, I would probably just leave it at that. So hopefully that helps answer some of your questions. Um, but by all means, if there's anything else, uh, please reach out. Um, I'd be more than happy to customize a kit for you based on those suggestions. Um, but I would say try that, um, the try it before you buy it light first. It's a great option to go and really see what's going to look good so you can get the desired effect. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to show you this real quick. If you see here, we got this bed area, um, and this was an area that was totally isolated uh, that we couldn't get wire to really. We got this nice, beautiful brick walkway here, but uh, we're out on Vancouver Island where it is an island, and most of it's rock, and we, there's just no way we could tunnel underneath that sidewalk without going super deep and totally messing up the garden. So what we did is if you uh, see behind me here, um, on this bush that goes up and then across the doorway here and then back down uh, What we did is we actually used the gutter and we actually ran wire up the gutter over the doorway and down into this bed here uh, And we were easily able to do that and now we didn't have to tear up the whole garden But we can get power here and still keep all our lights on the same transport transformer So sometimes you got to be a little creative with how you get wire to different areas, um, but there's always a way and you'd never even know that that wire's there because where we came back down in the bed is right behind a trellis that we ended up uh, highlighting and featuring in any way that uh, you guys can't tell from the video, but I can see it's starting to look really, really good, so I'm glad we lit that up. And that wire's totally hidden, so you'd have no idea how we got that wire there. So sometimes you gotta be a little creative. You don't always have to go into the sidewalk, so think of alternative ways. So what you're gonna find in your Try It Before You Buy It landscape lighting kit is four things. You're gonna find our RS uplighting fixture from FX Luminaire. You're gonna find our wash lighting fixture from FX Luminaire. And you're gonna find our path lighting fixture from FX Luminaire, which are three of the most used lights that we use in any of our landscape lighting projects. And along with that, it's gonna come with a King Innovation Instalight, which is a battery pack that's gonna allow you to go and test out these lights on your property to see which lights are gonna look best where. The Try Before You Buy It kit is a chance for you to go and feel the difference between a good quality light and a premium quality fixture and the poor quality lighting that you're gonna find online and in a lot of other stores. So you get to test those lights out for 14 days, go and plug them in, test them out on your property, see what's gonna look best. And if you don't love it, you send it back to us and you get a full refund. And if you do, you keep those lights at a discounted rate and you just get whatever else you need. It's just another cool example. If you can see this top peak here where we used a couple gutter mounts and just focused them in uh, on that top peak, um, really turns out second story peaks, definitely something you wanna focus on if you can get the lights up there. Uh, definitely brings your landscape lighting plan to the next level. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys got some great do-it-yourself landscape lighting tips. Now, please be sure to go to our website at lightingdoctor.ca and check out our how-to page. It's full of great resources from our podcast to our video to our most frequently asked questions. And also check out our Try It Before You Buy It light where you can actually go now and get one of our premium quality up lights and a King Innovation Instalight, which is basically a battery pack now that allows you to go and run those lights and test them out on your pop property. Try it for 14 days. If you don't love it, send it back to us and we'll give you a full refund. And if not, you keep the light at a discounted rate and go and buy what you need for your project. So thanks again for watching. Please be sure to leave us a comment. We love your feedback and have a great day.